Hey, BR Tidwell 55 here. When I showed you my nerd station, you remember that uh, that Acer netbook that was sitting there on the desk uh, not doing anything? Well, this is it. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done with it and kind of explain a little bit of history here and then in another part of this video I'll show you how I uh, I got some of this eye candy. So what I have here is an, an Acer, one, Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Uh, I got this back, it was new in 2010. Uh, has like a 1.05 gigahertz Atom uh, CPU, uh, 1 gig of RAM. Uh, when it was new out of the box it had Windows 7 starter preloaded on it. Sticker still on the, on the dang keyboard. Anyway, uh, now I bought this computer to take with me to Afghanistan, served its purpose, and one of the first things I did after I bought it was I set it up and I uh, and I dual booted it with Ubuntu Netbook Remix. Well, anyway, this uh, this computer got me through Afghanistan. Uh, uh, when I got back home, yeah. I had better machines and other gadgets, so this kind of sat on the shelf for a little while. My son, uh, my son, play, uh, used to play with it a lot. Well, in any case, I, I let it get. Uh, I let the, uh, especially the Linux partition. It, it got, it got way out of date. And it got to the point where Ubuntu didn't even support it anymore. So the other day, what I decided I'd do was, uh, I, I decided to upgrade. I. I I got everything off of it that meant anything to me, and then I uh, installed Linux Mint 16 32-bit XFCE edition. Uh, now, why did I go with uh, XFCE? Well, XFCE is a very is very light on resources. It's a very lightweight window manager, and uh, you know this even the limited resources on on this computer it responds you, you can kind of see the snap here it it, ex, it it responds extremely extremely well uh, now I, I've done it you can see I've tweaked it you don't get you don't get this out of the you don't get it out of the box looking like this it's uh And the reason why I've customized, uh, customized it, and I, and I do this with anything uh, that I have, is as much as I like Ubuntu and Linux Mint, it really annoys me with the developers that they they put together really good operating systems, and then they choose such crap colors for things like progress bars and highlights and everything else and you know with an Ubuntu it was that crap orange and with Linux Mint it's that baby food green color that they use and some of the stuff and I, I just had to get rid of it so in the process you know I've I've tweaked it you know, I've tweaked the look and I think it and I think it looks pretty darn good uh, I added the dock because I like a clean desktop and a dock is a good way to get those icons out of the way. So that's part one, Linux Mint desktop. Uh, part two, I'll show you uh, where I got some of the, the bells, and whist uh, bells and whistles to pretty it up. This is BR Okay, so after a fresh a installation of Linux Mint, it's gonna, your desktop's going to look a whole lot like this. Uh, it's functional, the artwork's nice, but uh, myself, I think it could be more usable. So, and it could be prettier. I'm not a big fan of a lot of a lot of this green stuff. That's just my personal preference. Some people may like it. Anyway, so how do you uh, how do you get turn this in, into what I showed you on the netbook? Well. First, first thing, easy stuff is uh, you know just change the uh, change the uh, 
change the wallpaper so you go up here to your settings manager uh, desktop and choose a different wallpaper it's pretty easy uh, I like a dock to get uh, icons out of my way I don't like a lot of clutter on the desktop and the dock is a good way to keep those frequently used programs accessible yet out of the way so what you do is is uh, you need to get this panel out of the way so go ahead right click it panel panel preferences make sure by default this is locked it'll look like that so unlock it you go ahead and close that and then it'll give you handles on either side on either end of the panel hover your mouse over that click and then just drag it up top and that gets it out of the way okay next dock application I, I'm I'm using Cairo dock uh, that is you can find that under the software manager just open that up oh fat fingered my own password and here it comes let's do a quick search for Cairo oh, went one past it Cairo doc go ahead select it and click install it will install and then once it does We'll go ahead and start it up. And here it comes. Now there are a ton of configurations for this uh, for this thing. Uh, by default it is not going to be hidden I like it to be hidden and all you have to do is hover over any of the icons on there and right click Cairo dock configure and then visibility of the main dock keep the dock hidden move down apply close and it's down it's out of the way okay now we're gonna do something about these frankly unattractive icons so I'm using a nitrons uh, or a, a, not an icon set called nitrux go to gnomelook.org and uh, you can do a search for nitrux it'll come up and you'll need to do some terminal foo but what you'll do is you scroll down maybe not even halfway install on Linux on Ubuntu Linux Mint uh, star Ubuntu derivatives open up a terminal and cut and paste each one of these lines of uh, each one of these commands in turn and it will install the icon theme onto your machine and once it's there settings manager appearance icon tab and there it is nitrux changes the icons on your desktop also change, changes them system wide even changes them down here in your Cairo dock alright finally what to do about this lovely green highlighting that you have in different windows and the green color progress bars and everything else personally I don't like it easiest way to do it pick another system wide theme and there are some great system wide themes under the Mac Ubuntu project 
So I go over to xfce-look and I do a search for and I did a search for Mac for, uh, for Mac Ubuntu and downloaded this file Mac Ubuntu like v, uh, v6.0 2014 02 it's a zip file you download it and by default it will end up under the downloads folder in your home directory Mac Ubuntu Lite okay you extract that there it open it places uh, you can go ahead and you can extract it anywhere in your home directory I just kept it here in the downloads open up the folder see these uh, these are two deb packages this one is icons and you can install that if you want that'll give you some more icon options but I installed the themes you just right click or you double click it it'll op it'll open up the package manager now I have already installed it so it's giving me the option to reinstall I'm not going to mess with that you install it of course you're installing software so it's going to ask you for your administrator credentials no big deal but once it's installed then you have go back in the settings manager go back to appearance scroll up a little bit in boot uh, all of these are different uh, sort of OS 10 uh, look based sort of themes and it gets rid of that god awful green highlight color which is the reason why I went with it so we'll just leave it there and that is reasonably close enough to what this this virtual machine now looks almost exactly like my netbook desktop so I'm proud of it uh, and that's uh, that's way you can customize your Linux Mint XFC desktop. This is BR Tidwell 55. Thanks for watching.